I was bullied and they did quite bad stuff, like they spat in my drink and called me bad names. I was bullied because for some reason this person didn't like me. I don't know for what reason. I got bullied and it, the only reason I came to school was for, for my friends. He started like punching me and kicking me and um, just got gathered all his friends and on me and they all, they made fun of me. It made me feel like, not like horrible, it made me just like, I don't know how to explain it, it's like kind of too big for words. I felt quite like powerless and like no one liked me and quite like, I wanted to be their friends and stuff and I thought they were quite cool because I was an older class but they weren't really. What exactly is bullying? Bullying is something when somebody um, hits you or does something nasty to you over and over again. It happens in every school. Bullying when someone hits you and they hurt your feelings um, every single day and they never stop. A quarter of all children have been bullied. When you yeah. do something every day, day. and and the person tells you to stop and you carry on. One in seven children have bullied others. Sometimes they might just be doing it for the fun of it or maybe something's going on at home and they're taking it out on other children. They might bully because they're insecure of themselves or they've been bullied. I think bullies would probably have um, feelings inside them that they, they, that they take out with aggression on other children. To help prevent bullying in school, we need to try to understand the feelings of children being bullied, the witnesses who see it, and the children who bully. Year six pupils at Hollickwood Primary School have written and acted out a bullying story to help us understand the feelings of everyone involved. There are five talking points where you can stop the programme and talk about what you think. How did it start? It all started after the new school year began. Hassin's friends came to school. Hassin came back two weeks later. Since then, they have ignored him. What happened? Hassin's friends began to exclude him from their games. When he walked past them, they would whisper and talk about him. When the teacher asked them to work in groups, they wouldn't let him join them. Who was involved? I am the eldest in my family. I have a baby sister. I used to love coming to school and playing with my friends. All that has changed now. I have a big family and two sisters and a big brother. My brother won't leave me alone. He pushes me and bosses me about if I don't do what he wants. It makes me feel angry and weak. I'm not very confident. I really like fighting. I'll do anything he asks. Otherwise, he'll stop being my friend. I'm an only child. My mum and dad gave me lots of presents. I'm good at football, but not good at sharing. I make friends by giving them sweets. I have to help around the house. I wish I could go out and play with my friends more. I wish my mum and dad weren't so tired so they had more time for me. I saw Faison being horrible to Hassan. It made me feel uncomfortable. I know the people who are bullying Hassan, but if I tell, people might think I'm a grass and they won't like me anymore. But why should I get involved? It's not my problem. But most of all, Faison might start bullying me. Why do you think they're behaving like this? What is Hassan thinking and feeling? Why are they doing this to me? They used to be my friends. I wish I was invisible. I feel miserable, worthless, abandoned and powerless. Hassan stopped wanting to come to school. His mum asked him what the matter was. He just said he felt ill. How can I tell my mum? She'll get upset. She can't speak English very well. How can she help me? What's wrong with Hassin? He's so unhappy. Should I speak to his teacher? 
At school, her scene stopped going out to play. His teacher asked him what the problem was. He said nothing. Would you tell if you were Hassan? His teacher knew who his friends were and went to ask them what the problem was. What are they thinking and feeling? How can I solve this problem? These children aren't bad, but they must be stopped. They're making Hassan's life a misery. I feel so sorry for him. I'm worried and disappointed too. Hassan must have told someone. I hope she doesn't tell my parents. It wasn't my fault. Faisal made me do it. That's all I need. I've never been in trouble before. If you were them, what would you feel? What would you think? What happened next? Hasin's teacher talked to him about what, what had been happening. She reassured him that talking about it is the right thing to do. She let him tell her how he was feeling, and he was surprised how good that felt. The teacher asked Hasin if she could talk to some of the classmates to see if they could help. Hasin said she could. Hasin's teacher held a meeting with the class. There were lots of ideas of what should happen. We could exclude the bullies. Keep them in at playtimes. Hasin should just ignore them. Let Hasin explain how the bullies made him feel. Get the bullies to explain why they're doing it. Hasin should tell the teacher that he's been bullied. We can tell the playground buddies to look after Hasin. What would you do? What would you suggest? What did Hasin's class decide were the best suggestions? Hasin's teacher discussed all the suggestions with the class. This is what they decided were the best ones. Bullying will not be accepted. This is an absolute school rule. But if we just simply exclude or punish the bullies, they could be even nastier to Hassin afterwards. So what should we do? If Hassin agrees, maybe the teacher could tell the bullies how Hassin is feeling. Let the bullies talk about how they'd feel, why they're doing it, and how they'd feel if they were Hassin. Or we could arrange a playground buddy for Hasin. We could ask the bullies if they would let Hasin back into their group. Hasin's teacher told him that his classmates wanted to help. He felt for the first time in a long while that he was not alone, that it wasn't a secret. It was a good feeling. But it didn't bring his friends back. Maybe he'll try and make new friends. How did it end? A month later, Hassin went out to play. He saw his friends, the bullies, standing at one end of the playground. He turned and walked away. His teacher told him to look out for a playground buddy. Hey, Hassin, where are you going? shouted Jordan across the playground. Oh no, not again, thought Hassin as he slowly turned around to face them. Hey, Hasin, we're going to play football. Want to come? shouted Jordan. I, uh, um, well, stammered Hasin. Could they really want him to play with them? he wondered. Come on! shouted the group. If you were Hasin, what would you do? What would you feel? 30 minutes later, Hasin was sweating out of breath and the happiest he had been for ages. He had lost the bullies and found his friends. How do you think it would have ended? So think about it. Think about it. Think about it. When
So what did the pupils who wrote the story learn from the experience? It was fun and it's like it's like because we done it ourselves so we like get to learn how it would actually feel because we get to feel inside of us how the victim would feel and how the person um, who was bullying would feel. Being left out is probably a more common type of bullying because because like bullying isn't always so huge like some people put it out as. We didn't make it all violent because sometimes bullying isn't really like with violence, sometimes it's just calling names or some stuff like that. So that's why we didn't do it. And maybe the little kids would think that it, bullying is just when you get hurt or there's violence in it. Maybe if you had like an older brother or sister and they're like bossing you about and stuff and then you like, like you'll feel powerless. And then to get that power back, you go to school and like bully someone. So then you feel like much happier, but um, don't know how the other person's feeling. Like if you bully someone, you might make think you look cool, and all your friends think you're all good and stuff, but it's not really that good. If we saw someone bullied, we would like straight away go and tell the teacher or tell them to stop, and like arrange one of those like make him a buddy or just like they can talk about what's what's happening and how the how the people person who's getting bullied. Can feels and how the other and the um, people who are bullying him feel. I didn't really know that much about bullying before, and I wouldn't have probably spotted what it was. I would have probably thought that that they're just messing around or something. But if I did see bullying now, I'd probably tell as well. Because because it's it's quite upsetting for people. I thought bullying was just hitting and punching, and um, that's. Um, but now I realise more, I would just go up um, to tell them, to go and tell a teacher what I would do it for them. <laughs> 